In this video, we're going to cover the assembly of the PASCO sonometer. Um, so to start off, pretty simple. We're going to take the tuning peg in, it's the end that has the uh, tuning pegs, and insert it on the end that's marked 50 centimeters into these two holes here. Slide it all the way back, and then tighten the knobs here on the front. Well, and back as well. Just finger tight. Yeah. And then the tensioning lever end, do the same thing. And then tighten. Next thing you're going to need is uh, a level here. Uh, I'm just going to check and make sure that this was, in fact, level, and it is. So we can move on to the next step. Um, you may see I already, already have a string on here um, that I attached previously. Uh, but for this demonstration, we're going to be using a fresh one. So the first thing we're going to do is just take one of our one of our strings and we're going to take the the ball end here this end and insert it up in here just like that mm -hmm. and make sure this is pulled all the way up um, after you've inserted the wire into the tuning peg end here And make sure that the the hole is already aligned um, with the uh, rest here. Pull it through. Now that we've pulled it through, let's go back and show you and make sure that the, the tensioning lever is all the way up. And then we're going to roughly mark off five centimeters. So while still having tension in the string, mark off about five centimeters. And then after you do that, release this. And then we're going to put a bend in it. And it, it's best that you bend upwards a little bit when you bend it. So at a 90. Just like that, make sure it's upwards. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to place our finger right here. And we're going to, like I said, it's this where it's nice to have this pointed upwards slightly. And we're going to rotate this clockwise until we get a full turn out of it. And we want to make sure that this wire right here, this is underneath this when we turn it. And it looks like we're good. And then after this, just continue to turn and ensure that the string is sitting below the excess portion here. Keeping your finger here will help kind of keep the tension so it'll wind up correctly. And you're going to keep on winding this. Just keep on winding. Until the tensioner is at a max. We'll keep going, keep turning, keep turning. And see now the tensioner 
is moving up. We're going to keep on tightening this just until the tensioner reaches its max capacity. Just a little bit more. And right there. So now we can release this. And then from here, we can just cut off the excess string. Now with the excess removed, you can actually start using this. And we can take off a mass. And we can hear the change in pitch when we do that. And from here, you're ready to perform all your experiments. With that, I hope you found this helpful.